So iOS 16 beta 5 update is finally here. Let's get to the video. Is this gonna be the final beta before the full OS launches? I have no idea, but so far there have been some couple of changes to the iOS 16 beta 5. Some are glaringly obvious and others are not. So let's dive down into the update. So starting off, you can see right here on the phone that now you have the percentage included with the battery. Now you can see the actual number right there. It's a very glaring observation. As soon as you pick up the phone, it's easy for you to see that right there. So now the battery percentage is embedded in that battery icon. And now you can see what number it is. As you can see right here, my phone battery is at 81%. So that is a really cool additional feature uh, to the iOS 16 uh, with the beta 5 release. Now, let's go straight to uh, the setting. You can pretty much come to your settings here and then go to your battery right there. And from battery, you can toggle on or off. If you want to have it on there, you can toggle it on. If you have it off, it'll go back to the regular battery icon right there. So I like to have it on just it's easier when you see the exact percentage of your battery. That way you have peace of mind. Now, next on this list is when you play music from your iTunes, basically, so I'm doing right here. If you unlock screen, check this out. Now there is an additional animation that shows you when or if the song is actually playing. Just, an, just a little animation right there showing you the song playing. That's a new additional feature uh, with the beta 5 update. So um, take note of that. Now next is Dolby Atmos. Now with Dolby Atmos, some songs will have Dol Dolby Atmos, some songs don't. And now Apple have included that in the label. So now when you look at the song album art, it shows you the genre, the year, Dolby Atmos, and this list audio. So you get to see everything now in one. Unlike before, you couldn't see if it was Dolby Atmos or not. And to even take this further, you can now pretty much go to your Dolby Atmos and ensure that all your songs have that feature of Dolby Atmos. So you can see right here, download in Dolby Atmos. You can choose to toggle this on or off. And if you toggle it on, all the songs that will be downloaded here on out from there will all be Dolby Atmos. Uh, yeah, all of them. So that's a really, really cool feature in addition uh, to the iTunes update. Now, next is with the watch. I have the watch OS 9 beta 5 update too right here. I haven't done a video on this yet, but I will do a breakdown on the watch OS 9 beta 5. But something new here is when you come to your notification now, the sound when you want to find your phone is different. So when you're beeping your phone now, they added a new sound to this. Now listen to this right here. So that's new, that's new. So now that's what it sounds like when you are trying to locate your phone uh, from your watch. Next is with screenshots. When you take a screenshot on your phone, like I'm about to do right now, see, come here and when you hit done, you have an option now to copy and delete. That's a new option right there. That's an addition a new addition to screenshot feature in iOS 16 beta 5. So moving forward, these are the things that you will look out for or you should be able to do when the full software is released. Personally, um, the problem I had with the previous beta 4 was with um, the volume control feature from your control center. So when you want to turn the volume up and down, it wasn't sensitive at all. Let me pause this, not to get a copyright. And this was a problem for me in previous updates, but I think they fixed it now uh, with this new beta five update. So now I don't have any problem uh, increasing my volume and bringing it down. 
before the sensitivity was really terrible. So I can bring it down and the volume control will try to, it, it'll be glitchy. It was glitchy uh, in previous beta updates. So beta three, I had the same problem. In beta four, I had the same issue, but now with beta five, I don't have this issue anymore. So that's pretty much um, fixed uh, moving forward. So that's pretty much it for this video. Pretty much, I can't really, uh, I don't know any other thing that is that changed or that have been added or subtracted from the update, but that's pretty much uh, all I have for you guys today. I, I will try to bring a video on Watch OS 9 Point five, uh, watch OS 9 beta 5 so you guys can see uh, what's new with the watch OS but um, yeah I will do that video as well probably soon so pretty much guys that's it for the Apple iOS 16 beta 5 update I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just a straightforward video not too much straight to the point don't want to waste your time and by the way shout out to the army of ciphers you guys have been holding me down strong and we have been growing exponentially i want to say thank you guys a lot for holding me down and really holding me down strong now if you are new to the channel if you just stumbled across my channel probably youtube recommendations please be sure if you enjoy content like this be sure to leave a like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos and by the way it's just the universe saying hey stick around man great things are coming and with that said i will catch you guys in my next video hey hold on let me put on my Andrew Tate glasses real quick. Let me put on my Andrew Tate glasses real quick. All right. So with that said, I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, stay safe. These are crazy times, I tell you. Stay frosty. Cypher Tech out. Peace.